time creative crambo back with another one got my son around charlie helped me do this little deck and repair job right in the middle there timbers of something rubble i'll probably be taking this out as well what i'll do then is just put a line from there right across to the other end that's how you do it chap just de-screw that. Yeah, just get your bar in there, son. You got it. Yeah, so repair all this timber. Come through with new decking. It's been down for about 10 years as well. And everything's just rotted away. What I will be doing is using this shed and fence preservative. That'll just uh, protect all the new timbers going in there. And then I'm going to be using this Krubanol silver birch for final finish. Yeah, so we've got a bit to do. Right, so what I want to do here, I want to get this prop down onto something solid there. So I've got there's a solid base underneath there, see? Yeah. What I need to do, I'm just going to get a few props in it. Get down onto something nice and solid. Let me screw this one in. in there, yeah. But what I have got to do is I want to renew the timbers all around here. Right, two, five. line running through there so that's the height I've got to go to. Okay again with a solid thing down there that's coming out all the way through there as well. That's good. Okay dog. I explained to him what just yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah bird shit I mean. <laughs> yeah I'm over here. <laughs> just about to do that bit there. Yeah. Birds come over. <laughs> And shit right on, this, on my shoulder. What's that all about? I'm going to come through here with these 6 by 2s now. Let's get that tight. Get down to that level. It's pretty good through that. And all I'll do is just squared round a little bit this area here was the worst bit I'll just measure that there 155 not too sad that mate 
So 6p2s all the way through here. All I'll do is just renew that rotten bit there as well. Bearing in mind all this is going to get treated again. I'll probably go over with two coats as well, so this bit here, just replace that. Bobby line is looking all pretty good through there. Just get on there, Charlie. Look at that there, it's all running through nicely now. So I'm happy with that. Clear this mess up here inside. Job done. It's another one bites the dust. Okay, let's get the wood preserving. Just gonna pour all that in the bucket there, Charlie. Because we've got plenty of this stuff. And what I might do is uh, let it dry and give it a, a second going over as well. Yeah, that's wood preserved, like you know. It's gonna treat the wood and also prevent any rot and stuff like that. That's it, tear up the bloody table there, we'll get it in there. So I'll wipe that off. And then I'm gonna do all the bits of wood. I bet you've been looking forward to that Charlie, haven't you? Yeah, all right, Charlie. What I like to do is I use a clamp like that, but as I go along, I'm going to use a six mil packer all the way through. I'll have a six mil gap all the way through there, like that. Yeah, so then each board will come in there, six mil gap each time. And I'll just work the way from there back that way. That's the idea, but new timbers in there. All nice and solid. Let's stand on then. Like that. All nice and solid going through. I'll have a little cut in here as well, but that's no problem. And then these timbers here, I'll just renew them going through. 
and that should uh, solve the problem out. And they're not too bad, they've still got a bit of bite on them as well. Might be able to get a bit of, bit of timber along the side of them. You know, this, they're not completely rotted through. I'll get something on them, but that's a general idea. Yeah, so what Charlie's doing here is uh, he's using this clamp, um, but what he's doing is put, he's put a screw in there so we can clamp onto that and then go really tight and get the board right nice tight to that 6mm packer each time. And then what you do is you put three screws in there, work his way along, three screws each time, and also just using that packer each time as well yeah so I've got all the timbers there nicely running through uh, level from one side there to the other side there I'll just use a string line there to get the levels now this shed and fence uh, preserver I've used two of them already so I'm definitely going to need another two I've got this area to do through here these are coming up as well and the main reason why I did this job was I had a uh, the, the timbers had dropped a little bit in the middle there so I had to renew them and also as well I'm going to go with a wider board here as well that's uh, 14 centimeters uh, and the original there is uh, is 10 centimeters so I'm just going to get a nice wider board there coming through which I really like and yeah, coming together really nicely now. You're okay, Char, you drill. <laughs> Carry on, son. How's the new pouch, Char? Yeah, I'm loving it. All right, Charlie, yeah? Nice little Stanley pouch. Let's have a look at the pouch. Uh, oh, let's have a look at the... There you go. Nice. iPhone in there. Yeah. yeah. Screws, the uh, tape. Screws. Whatever you need in there. Hammer on the side. Yeah, a few chisels there, right? Uh, all right, it's a left-hander, but you do left all right. Same as me. That's no problem. All right, okay. Um, mark this one. I think it was 375. You got it marked up? 375. 375. Let's cut that through. It's my young apprentice. <laughs> yeah. He's doing all right. He's a great help doing this decking with me. Right, so just draw down there. Yeah. Just go over that line. See where you are. Are you nice and square at the fence? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well done, mate. 
and thank you for your help on this decking as well. That's been all a great right. help. That's fine. All right, lovely. And I'm loving your pouch. <laughs> I say, chuck that over there, Charlie, and then um, we'll go for the next one. Oh, that's it. Is that on a? Is that sticking down a bit or? I tell you what, we need to get, I need to get a little bit of timber <laughs> in there. I just saw you doing that and I thought, where's that going? <laughs> There's a bit of a dink out of the old timber there. We sort that out. Yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic Easter weekend. I had my son for one day as well. I'm into the second day now. He's enjoying his Easter break as well. But I've been cracking on. What I've done here is just renew these timbers coming through here. Obviously the new decking's in there coming through. I've done two cords with the wood preserve. Also as well I've got some nice 4 2 timbers there going down there to the concrete floor there. Nice sturdy job. All timbers nicely secured. All I'll be doing now is coming through with the decking again. All the way through. A nice cut through there from the original deck in there going through so I'm just going to meet up with that same the other side here just cut the old deck and through there supported these timbers a lot better than what they were the old deck was down for 10 years so just a nice re new job and I've gone through Nearly 1,000 of them by the job's finished. That's the deck and screws there, 65 mil. So yeah, by the whole by the time the whole job is finished, I'll have used over a thousand screws in the whole job. That's without all the the four inch screws and the 75 mil screws I've used for the the timbers here as well. So a lot of screws. But yeah, looking good. Yeah, quick demonstration on how I'm going to cut this 3.6 length of there's it. Stay there. Oh, I'll do it anyway. 3.6 long length of deck and board. I took my measurement down from there. You're going to be looking at um, three, 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 five. What I'll do, I'll mark this on the deck and board. Three, 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 five. What I'm doing here is working from the left to the right. So I've got control of the deck and board while I'm cutting through. So with the stand there, I've got the legs nicely there, level. And also as well, I've got the arm nice in there, fully extended there. I'll bring the deck and board through. And it looks like a little bit wobbly there, but hand on there, back to the fence. I'm in complete control of that board there with that hand. 
and then I'll just make my cut. So now I can just take that away and then with this board here lower it down and then put her there where she needs to be. Be a nice cut there. Just maintaining that 6mm gap there. Nice cut around the board there to the existing there. Nice job. Decking all completed, 22 square metres. I changed the 10 centimetre ones for the 14 centimetre ones. I renewed a lot of timbers in there as well. Brought the decking through. I've got it down to the same level there as the existing decking. Nice finish there. Also on this bit as well, nice finish going through there, nice and level with the existing. Yeah so 22 square metres, I've got a couple of cuts to do, tiny little one in there, not too bad there, and I think I've got one around the corner there. So overall very nice job. All I've got to do now is uh, stain it up. I will be using this silver birch croup and all silver birch anti slip deck and stain. But with 22 square metres, I think I've got to buy a couple more of them to be fair. But that'll be a, a future video. So, yeah, well pleased the way this all came through and worked out. A lot of hard work as well. I did have help uh, from my son Charlie. Uh, much appreciated, Charlie. Yeah, uh, not to take a ball over here, son. Remember that one? I've still got to get it down. There's, there's one deck and board out of the whole lot is just sticking up a little bit. But I'll sort that out. Not a problem. Well pleased with all of that, though. Lovely. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next one.